can I take my miniature horse on the plane? That entirely depends. How miniature are we talking? Like motorcycle sized? Golden retriever sized? Or like action figure sized? Cause either way, it doesn't matter, okay? That's ridiculous. The answer is no. If you want to bring your miniature horse on the plane, then you do what everyone else does. You smuggle it up your butt. In the aircraft business, we call that the Brown Town Rodeo. What's up guys, welcome to Speak to the Manager, a game that I think we all know should have been called Karen Simulator, and yet it's not. Like, the only reason I can think as to why is because some people have started to claim that Karen is actually a slur, and by some people, I mean Karens. So it's my first day on the job, and it looks like I need to get 500 sweatshop workers, 1,000 hotel safes, and 1,000 heart moons. I've never heard of Karen trying to pay with any of those things, but honestly, I wouldn't really be that surprised. <laughs> I think the scenario here is that we're gonna be the manager of the cereal and cat food store, and we've got some pissed off customers who may or may not have accidentally mixed up our products. I spend thousands of dollars here each year. Give me a discount? Come on now, Tweedledee, really? Like, it's my first day on the job and I wasn't born yesterday. I can see Tweedledum in the back of the line. You think you two could just put on a pair of matching gloves and a wig and pretend to be the same person? Like, no one person spent thousands of dollars in this store. Unless you own, like, some kind of feline exclusive B&B. Rubber Ducky says, sorry, no discounts. The Frosted Flakes and Fancy Feast are already on sale. My ex used to work here. What's her number? Considering they're a her, I would imagine the number is 69. You probably mean phone number, though. Unfortunately, ma'am, we're a store that sells food for pussies, not numbers to them, so could you please get the frig out? <laughs> yeah, what's this smell like? Who are you? I have one item to check out. I will be quick. They seriously want me to watch an ad to send this guy to the back of the line, or I could just let him check out. But it seems like customer service actually matters here. Like, telling that last Karen to get the frig out resulted in me getting no sweatshop workers or hotel safes, which I assume I want? <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I don't care all that much. Like, I don't know where you got your hands on an extra small box of condoms in a cereal cat food store, but you're the boss, sure thing, just... Check on out, see you later. I'm very sick, what should I buy? How about a pair of glasses that you can actually see through? This is not a pharmacy. I think Meow Mix might have a new champagne and filet mignon flavor for when your cat feels like celebrating. I guess that could make you feel a little better. Oh, didn't like that. Wait a second, somebody liked that. Like, clearly Karen didn't, but I guess upper management did. I don't know if I'm supposed to be mean to these people or not. I'm so confused. I ate a banana while I was shopping, so I don't have to pay for it. Seriously, where do people keep finding this stuff? We don't have any bananas. And where's Rubber Ducky? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, ma'am. Like, that's not how it works. You gotta pay. But I guess in all reality, you're gonna pay once you have to pass that duck, so we'll call it even. Can I have a frequent shopper discount card? Whoever owns this store is really desperate for me to watch ads. They'll have poor Charlie here give me a reach around behind the counter if it means I sit through 30 seconds of TikTok dancing. I mean, sure, take the discount card. Just keep your weird fleshy crab claws away from me. They're freaking me out. How'd I do? Good? I think I did good. I got $100. That seems pretty good for like five minutes of work. So this is my apartment. You know, I've been working really hard to feng shui the place to bring out that meth den aesthetic. You'll notice that the windows are mostly there and the TV is actually a cardboard box with the hole cut in it. I watch a lot of TV, okay? It's plenty entertaining. You know, it's like watching young Sheldon, but with less dead air. Well, now that I've introduced you guys to my career and my home, I'm sure you're really interested in learning more about my life and pets. As am I, because as far as I know, I don't actually have a life. <laughs> no relationship, no overtime, no car. I mean, I could have dated Charlie back there. You know, if they're in it for the ad money, then it's not really love. As for pets, I gotta earn $500 before I can get my first pet. So by the end of the week, we should have a pet that doesn't live in the walls. 
I'm sorry, was denying Charlie's physical advances yesterday some kind of test from upper management? Because apparently I got a promotion. Like, nobody told me, I just showed up to work and it's an airport. Like, I really doubt being able to point people to Fruit Loops on aisle three makes me qualified for international security. Can I take my miniature horse on the plane? That entirely depends. How miniature are we talking? Like motorcycle sized? Golden retriever sized? Or like action figure sized? Cause either way, it doesn't matter, okay? That's ridiculous. The answer is no. If you want to bring your miniature horse on the plane, then you do what everyone else does. You smuggle it up your butt. In the aircraft business, we call that the Brown Town Rodeo. I'm a celebrity. Can I have first class? Lady, who are you trying to kid here? I know what you were up to yesterday. Like, no celebrity would date an employee of a cereal cat food store. I would know. Because I, I pretend to be both of those things. <laughs> Nothing is free. And if you want first class, then try to go halves with the horse butt lady. The customer is always right. The customer also has a forehead ridge that makes him look like he shouldn't be riding horses, but instead drawing them on the walls of caves. I'm not watching an ad, I, I don't care. My union says I don't need to do this anymore. Customer is king, sure, whatever, just get out of here. I'm one pound over the weight limit, can you give me a break? I'm sorry, do you wanna rephrase that? Is it your luggage that's one pound overweight? Because I don't see you with any luggage. Or are you one pound overweight? Because, you know, you could just, like, ditch the Walmart glasses, the belt, maybe take a huge dump, and then you could probably get underweight. That's actually a reasonable request, though. Like, I'm not used to Karens being fair. So, uh, I, you know, screw it. I'll, I'll give you a break, of course. Sure, well, why not? So I'll make the world a bit of a better place. How safe are your planes? Was that supposed to be a pickup line? Like, if I tap my foot twice and touch my nose, are you gonna be balls deep in me? Because I'm not interested. I don't know if this is some kind of code, but like, if you're genuinely curious, then, I mean, I guess it depends on your definition of safety. Like, are we sometimes over the maximum weight capacity? Yeah, a little bit. Are there sometimes illegal farm animals up passengers' butts? Yeah, a little bit. But the one thing I don't tolerate on my planes are weapons. This guy has got a couple of guns poking out from that extremely business casual shirt. So, you may die. It's my first day on the job. I'm not making any promises. Okay, now I'm extra confused. Was I just working some kind of internship at the TSA? Because I think I only got one day there and they didn't pay me. Well, isn't that just great? I work at a hardware store now. Like, I'm really starting to wonder whether I'm getting up and going to all of these different jobs every day or if I'm just tripping balls on the floor of my meth den. This drill costs less at Ace. Do you price match? No, do we look like a charity? Like, let's be honest here. If we have enough money to let our customers test out their murder axes on doors while in store, we can probably afford to price match a freaking drill. So you know what? You got it. Please leave a tip. I I'd, I'd like to eat today. I should get a refund. This shovel's broken. I'm really sorry about this, man, but we don't offer refunds on the divorce attorney model of shovel. Hey, if it broke sometime after you left the store and before you buried your husband's corpse, then that's really more of a manufacturer's defect. You're gonna have to take that up with them. Plus, you broke it and no takesies backsies. That's just the way that the world works. Uh, Might not be the way his world works, though. Yo, bro, you got any souvenirs? I mean, you could have the guy in the red fedora if you really want, but like, this is a second-rate hardware store. We don't get too many tourists around here. Nonetheless, intergalactic ones. And you know what? You have a nasty dialect. You can take your crappy Macho Man Randy Savage impression and just beam the hell out of here. C -c -c can you tell me about bidets? Well, it's this thing that you use after you shit yourself. Usually while on a toilet, rather than in line at a hardware store. It's not gonna be much use to you now. But you know, it, it sprays water at your poop hole, saving toilet paper. Think of it as being like the opposite of what happens when you eat Taco Bell. Can I have your phone number? What is with all these jobs and having nothing but guys come on to me? Like, why did you wait in line all this time just to stand here, ask for my phone number, and rub your incredibly malpositioned nipples. <laughs> no, g get out of here, no, no thanks. I, I know you're sad, but give me money anyway. Do you have any toolboxes in stock? 
You see, now that's a proper pickup line. She wants my tool to rummage around in her box. Now you're speaking my language. I, I still don't want to watch an ad, and that's an O face that I don't think I'd be able to deal with. So unfortunately, I I'm going to have to say no thanks, and uh, I'll go grab a toolbox from the back. Y you just try to compose yourself. Would you believe I didn't get paid again today, but I did get my bonus of a 1991 Ford piece of shit so long as I watch an ad. <laughs> no, I'm gonna lose it. I don't want it. Oh, everything makes sense now. I've been a YouTuber for so long that I forgot what it's like to work a regular job. Like, it just so happens that I work multiple jobs. I'm not getting fired and hired over and over again. I just get scheduled to work different places on different days. And I don't get paid at the end of every day. I get paid on payday, which is the end of the week. I'm very poor and can't afford this. Well, I'm also very poor and don't give a rat's ass. Like, can you not afford cereal, cat food, or sleeves? Because one way or another, you should probably get a better job. No offense, but oh, you didn't give me money, you cheapskate. I love your store. Can I give you a big tip? Wait, seriously? You want to be nice to me? Where's the date you option? I, I got a big tip for you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Holy crap. I made a hundred bucks and that's a promotion. My dog ate toilet paper. Can I have free toilet paper? Well, your ass is eating those shorts and you don't seem to expect free shorts. So what's the difference? <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you toilet paper. How dare you feed perfectly good toilet paper to your dog? That's a your kind of problem. Get out of here. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Cash now, or I will shoot you. Dude, cereal cat food store. How much money do you think this place has? And do you think I have the will to live? You think I'm afraid to die? Come on now. This may be the first time I've ever had the option to watch an ad to kill somebody, but I'm still not gonna do it out of principle. So you could just take the money. Hopefully not my money. Please don't take my, okay, we're good. Will fried cheese make me fat? Listen, none of my jobs involves being a doctor. But that being said, I think this lady just got a severe concussion when the robber bowled through her. I feel kind of bad being mean. Like, I don't want to say that she can never be an Instagram model. She's actually pretty slim and fit. I would have hit on her if it wasn't for the terrifying fleshy crab hands. I can't get over them. They're freaking me out. Where are your fingers, lady? If you eat a balanced diet, you can eat that too. Yeah, uh, corn flakes. Go, go ahead. This is good, perfectly healthy cereal. Yeah. And 200 bucks. I'm raising money for a billionaire's presidential campaign. Do you have 20 minutes to talk? No, I don't have 20 minutes to talk. I need to put another sign on the door. No shirt, no shoes, no service isn't good enough. We need to add no asking out the cashier unless you're a woman, no rubbing your nipples while talking to the cashier, and no billionaire presidential campaigns. Ew, get lost. Not interested. Thank you for the $50 though. Well, the good news is I got promoted to shop manager. I'm not really sure what my position was before this. The bad news is they're willing to triple my salary if I watch an ad. Like, they couldn't have just cut down on the frigging confetti budgets. It's still one more day until I get paid, but my promotion bonus came through early, which means I should be able to afford my first pet. I got a rabbit. And apparently my rabbit has a poop percentage and likes to go for walks. Okay, uh, do I get to see my rabbit? Is it invisible? Wait a minute, what the hell? I have a relationship. I have a level two relationship. I apparently saw a nice girl at the club. I don't remember going to a club. Is there anything I can do with the nice girl? She's kind of cute. She's apparently making me happy every day, which is lovely. Would she like to see my rabbit? Because I can't. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Speak to the Manager, guys. And I won't say that this is a good game, because I can't imagine it's all that much fun to just kind of sit there and play with on your phone. But I really enjoy commentating over it. Like I feel like the jokes in this episode were some of my best. So if you guys agree, if you want to see more, be sure to leave a like in the video. Leave a comment, show your support, and then maybe I'll return to take advantage of the sweatshop money fairy ads or whatever's floating around and tempting me.
But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.